Good morning. I'm Good Jody morning. Shelton with uh, the president of the Global Semiconductor Alliance, and I'm here with my old friend, or friend from a long time ago, <laughs> rather than old, um, Sohil Khan. So he is the um, president and CEO of um, Siggy Semiconductor, and um, I've had the pleasure of watching the success of, um, of his career and of his company over the last few years. And um, in fact, the company recently um, filed an, an S1, so they're well on their way to um, to success the way that we measure it here in the semiconductor industry. So welcome, Sahil. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Uh, thanks for uh, giving me the time. Uh, it's always my pleasure uh, to participate in your events, which are always done professionally and very well received by our industry. Thank you. So thanks for uh, giving us the opportunity uh, to share our views. Okay. Uh, and participate. Okay, well I want to talk a little bit about um, some of the things that you're going to be um, uh, uh, talking about on our panel today um, in the uh, home connectivity market. So what are you guys monitoring um, in that particular space that is going to be driving your growth in the near term as well as what do you think the trends are that will be driving growth over the next three years? I think when we talk about connectivity, it is not limited to home only. Okay. Uh, uh, the era which we live in, it's a connected world. Uh, initially, the, that connection was voice, then it went to data. Today, when we talk about connectivity, it's all about multimedia. Okay. Uh, so if we look at the young generation, that uh, they have moved away from the ways I used to communicate, they want to have the ability to uh, see each other, send uh, video information, receive that, and able to do things, uh, social networking, which has come into play. So that is a driving a different type of connectivity. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see all those handheld devices which have mushroomed, and uh, they are playing a role, whether it is for home connectivity, or uh, on the run connectivity, or in the office connectivity. Okay. And the critical thing, when we move away from just the data only, the quality of service becomes very important and crucial. Because, so what if you send a data message and one or two bits are lost, but in case of a multimedia, that is visible to the human eye, and you cannot accept that. So the signal integrity and ability to receive that uh, uh, video picture or streaming video or uh, anything else, your social networks, connectivity, your gaming, needs to give them a good experience of uh, that, uh, having that uh, interact act, interactivity with their friends. So it is about the multimedia connectivity which is driving the growth, and we are the big benef benef fisher, beneficiaries of that uh, requirement. Okay. And this is just going to, over the next three years, this is just going to, I mean, obviously we've got a huge part of the world that um, isn't uh, connected yet or is not connected um, with that type of sophistication. So that's going to be something that just continues to drive it over the next three years? Uh, I think uh, it will drive longer than three years. Okay. Uh, because w what you look at is that uh, different levels of connectivity. One of the things what you will find is today, if you look at a typical home, you have maybe two to three or four uh, wireless connections. Look at how, what I perceive and see in the future. Uh, you will have multiple uh, laptops in a home. You will have multiple uh, smartphones in a home. Uh, you will have uh, multiple uh, uh, TVs in a home. You have a game box in a home. Uh, you have uh, your set-top box or DVR in a home. All these things will be connected, uh, uh, will have a wireless connectivity so that you can really enjoy uh, that uh, the advantages of what technology is offering uh, and uh, have that multimedia experience regardless of where you are. So I see this growth continuously.